started off as a duo. Yeah. Now you're up to six members. Yeah. Uh, and what order did the other guys in the band join? And uh, where did you first meet him? How'd you get to know him? Started out as two, uh, myself and Rob, who's not here. He's our drummer. Um, and we got Sam, who plays, uh, you know, trumpet, mandolin, and just about everything. Uh, you know, we picked him up pretty shortly thereafter. So then it was a three-piece. Uh, and then we eventually added a bass player, and Joey replaced him. Um, and then you and came along, though, I, right? I worked with Rob uh, in the drum shop, and you get to know somebody working with him. I told him I played trumpet back in the day, and they needed another trumpet player, so brought me along. And then I came about after uh, the album was released, yeah. and they needed an accordion player to fill in a floppy minister's part, so that's how I came about. What's the timeline on a new album? Uh, we're going into the studio to start work on our next record in April. Um, how long it'll take, I don't know. I mean, usually those kind of things take months and months and months, but we're, we'll be knocking out all of our basic tracking uh, in April. So we'll see what happens, how long it takes from there. But it's in the works. What's the direction you're going with this one? Any kind of a departure from the what the usual, or are we going more of the same? I think it's a little more focused than the last record. Um, there are a lot of different sounds in the last record. You know, you get some stuff with banjo, mandolin, you know, and old small school country, a lot of like, you know, rock songs. This one's gonna be uh, a little more focused in that it'll have a lot more, there's gonna be a lot more of a, uh, like, kind of country. Uh, yeah, like like old, like vintage, like, kind of like vintage. 70s type stuff. I wouldn't even call it vintage necessarily, but just like. Like chicken picking and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, like more twangy guitars, more like, you know, old school sort of. Shuffles and stuff like and that. And then we'll kind of be splitting the difference between that and we got, you know, a lot of uh, kind of like southwestern, spaghetti western kind of ballad type stuff that we'll be putting on there as well. So. I think, yeah, I think we, yeah, we want to keep it, I mean, we want to stay like firm to, you know, what the band started as, which is having that landscapey sort of like, you know, southwestern feel to it and incorporate that, I guess, into, you know, this, this I wouldn't even call it a new direction, but this more focused album, you know, still keep the, the same idea going throughout the whole thing. So. Last year, you got to play a show with Jerry Jeff Walker. Oh, yeah. Uh, kind of describe that experience and also what influence has he had on you uh, musically? Well, he's a songwriter, he's a songwriter, so I mean, his influence is, you know, just, just that. You strive to write better songs lyrically. Uh, the experience of that show was pretty surreal. I mean, playing Moody Theater and you get a, a dressing room and they give you all your bottles of whiskey that you want. And, <laughs> Your beer and everything, and which is, that's cool, but I mean the stage is just ridiculous. It's you don't really get very nervous playing shows anymore, but as soon as you step out on that stage, you're like, yeah, I'm pretty goddamn nervous right now. Yeah, I feel like you sort of know you're in the big time when you're like back in the green room or backstage, and there's like a, a dedicated like bathroom for you. You know what I mean? We're, <laughs> yeah, like we're we're so used to yeah we're so used to like being at like dive bars and being like, all right, what restaurant am I gonna have to like duck into so that I can like you know drop one real quick <laughs> no like seriously that's what it is like we played we played up uh at mercury lounge in tulsa and you know they don't have any there's like not a seat on the toilet there's no door on the <laughs> stall so we all had to go over to this like wine restaurant across the street just like a bunch of stinky smelly band dudes walking in like hey man i'm getting a little nervous before this show can i use the restroom so, so basically we like to thank jerry jeff walker for <laughs> getting us a very yes. nice bathroom yeah it's a very nice bathroom right. yeah, it's, it's i, I think awesome. one thing on that note though with jerry jeff is that he's he's always done things his way and made things his own uh, and had his own take on songwriting and I think I think that's something that we focus on making something that's our own all right that's not true actually so. <laughs> just leave that out yeah. what is your favorite breakfast cereal uh, definitely Cookie Crisp. Dude, seriously? Yeah, Cookie Crisp. I love Cookie Crisp. I know, Cookie Crisp is awesome. I just had it the other day for the first time. I'm going with Cookie Crisp. Yeah, it's so good. I don't really eat breakfast cereal, but uh, oatmeal when I do, I guess. I'm not go with Captain Crunch, maybe. But which, all right, which which Captain Crunch though, dude? Either or, it could be. It could no, be the berry. It could be the berry one, or it could just be straight just Captain Crunch. No, no, right, no, it's not. It's not berry. Or, so you got the Captain Crunch peanut butter balls. Yeah. Or you've got the Captain Crunch like the crunchy mother, you know, the little. Crunch berries. Cr not the crunch berries. There's no berries in the other one. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you're just talking about standard Captain Crunch. Just standard Captain. Yeah. I think I think Captain Crunch is kind of gross though. Honestly, it gets stuck in your teeth and stuff. I, I, I so, actually so really good. like. Okay, it. that or if it's, it's the one with the cookies, cookie crisp. Those are it looks weird talking about, man. <laughs> there you go. But I would go with Captain Crunch first. I like that. <laughs>